Solid State Empire. Disappointment of life affects everyone. You shouldn't feel alone. The King Corp has a solution you are after. Abradoxin. Take the pill. You are after. Take the take the take the Take the pill. Dream forever. With Abradoxin. Always, 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 always. Pixel Demon have taken full control of this dream. The message of chaos will be heard across the entire world wide net. Heed my words as we travel the cybernetic sphincter to show you the truth. To join me on my conquest. To shower this planet with the veil of chaos. But before I tell you about all of that, we're gonna play a little gem that not a lot of people know about on the good old Super Nintendo called Dr. Franken. Uh, Dr. Franken was made by, uh, I forgot what the fuck the company was, but they made another good game called Lester the Unlikely, which, uh, hey, you know, if uh, the cops don't come, I might play, alright? Uh, if they don't know that I'm hacking this stream, okay? Anyways, uh, let's get on with the game. Very nice music. It's it's ooh, it's super loud, loud as fuck. Just the way I like it, blowing out my eardrums. Hey, that's cool. All right, let's do it. All right, uh, start game. It's only one player. Ooh, the remix. That's right. Oh, oh. Anyways. Start. All right. What's the story of this, you might ask? Well, Frankenstein was gonna go on a little trip to, uh, I don't know, he was just gonna take a little trip somewhere around the world with his girlfriend. But what ended up happening was that uh, his, his girlfriend misplaced all her body parts um, all over the world. I wonder where she left her pussy. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and try and find all her parts. And then, uh, you know, we can get out on the road. Let's do it. Alright. This is Dr. Franken. We're about to find us a piece of pussy. Alright. Just so you know, this game... Uh... <laughs> this game handles like shit. So if you want to play this game, just be aware of that. But, oh, fuck! Also, the hitboxes are completely fucked. And then you get that battery pack for your health. Alright. Oh! Alright. Then you gotta get Toxic Waste. He gets a little bit high with that. You know? Every now and then we need to get a little bit high. That's why he's smiling. That's why he green. <laughs> Six to give you green puff puff to give. Oh fuck. Damn. I gotta find my passport before we leave. I mean, can't leave the airport without a passport. Uh hey, have you guys heard of uh Have you guys heard of uh the 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 biscuit project? It was a man, hey, I'm gonna tell you guys. It was called the uh, the biscuit project. It was a pro <laughs> It was a project. Nah, man, I'm serious. I'm serious. All right, gather around. Gather around. Okay. The biscuit project was a a secret government project made by uh, uh, the United States FBI. And what ended up happening was that um, they were trying to create the perfect band they were trying to create the, the perfect band to control kids because back in the early 2000s I don't know if you guys were alive yet they were trying that what ended up happening was uh, 
kids were becoming too rebellious. They were, go they were getting out of hand. So what ended up happening was that uh, this guy said, Hey, we gotta create our own band. Influence these fucking kids to not do bad shit. So they created something called the Biscuit Project. And uh, they were like, Okay, what, what, what's... What's gonna be the, the most popular thing out soon? And so... Oh fuck. This bald motherfucker. Um, so what ended up happening is that they started to research bands. And one of the most popular bands at the time was a band called Korn. Uh, Korn uh, invented... Basically, are the forefathers of a genre of music called new metal and that is not n-e-w it's n-u metal and the, the government okay we gotta make our own we're gonna we're gonna get dna sample from from elvis the greatest singer in the world and we're gonna we're, we're gonna control kids with this music and so they made him they made limp biscuit all right, he was just a clone of Elvis Presley. Uh, he <laughs> he he uh, he he sang good and stuff, but they gave him attitude, and uh, he was he was he was off the hook, man. He was off the hook. But then uh, Corn was like, "Hey, yo, hey, you know, this guy's pretty. Hey, he's tight. He's tight." Well, let's be friends with uh, Limp Bizkit. And uh, they became friends with Limp Bizkit. They even came out in, in one video of his. Uh, annoying to them that he was a project by the government. Um, oh shit, how do I get out of here now? Oh shit, how do I get out of here? Oh, alright. Throw, throw a fireball. Okay. Uh, it was... They became friends, but then, uh, you know, Limp Bizkit was having fun. He didn't even know he was a, a project. Uh, but every time somebody said, the Nuki, he went into attack mode, guys. <laughs> he went to he went into a, attack mode. And uh, he uh, when he was with Korn, uh, the government called him up, and uh, it went... The biscuit, we have a biscuit for you. And then, uh, Mission Impossible, <laughs> Mission Impossible went dum 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 dum, and it, it was <laughs> it was it was his mission. It was his mission to kill Korn. Um, and so <laughs> I'm I'm not lying. This really happened, all right? It, you know what Limp Bizkit did? I mean, he did it unconsciously. He didn't know he was being... He didn't know he was a, a, a government experiment, okay? So keep that in mind. What he did was uh, one day... <laughs> what? One day, uh, Limp Bizkit said, Corn, you want to go to Denny's? And Corn went, I... And they went... <laughs> they went to Denny's. <laughs> they went to Denny's. And... Uh, and Limp Bizkit went, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a, I'm gonna go take a shit real quick, all right? So, uh, just stay right here. And uh, and the Corn Man went, all right. And, but they didn't know that Limp Bizkit went. <laughs> he went outside, and he 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 made. He got a screwdriver. <laughs> he got a screw. <laughs> he got a screwdriver, and on one of his wheels, he took off. <laughs> he took off a nail. <laughs> he took off. He took off a nail from the, from one of their wheels, and then uh, Limp Bizkit went back inside and went. All right, I think I gotta go home, guys. And Cornman went. All right, me and my band, we're gonna go back home. And if you guys think I'm lying about this, check out Limp Biscuit, Corn. Uh, no, check out Limp Biscuit, Mission Impossible. Basically, 
Uh, the government is leaving clues to what they did. Oh, f fuck this flying shit. Oh, shit! Where the fuck is the final piece? I think- I don't think I looked up here. Anyways. Uh, then Korn went, wow, what a cool guy. But then, they got into an accident, you guys. They all got in a fucking accident. And, uh, they all died. They, they all fucking died. And if you think I'm lying, check out, uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called, but, uh, check out the video called Corn, uh, Adidas. I think it's called, no, no. Yeah, I think it's Adidas. And the government is once again living clues, alright, for us to figure out. And, oh, fuck, man. Ugh. Anyways, they're leaving clues for us, and that video is basically what happened. They they didn't have one of their the screw <laughs> the screws from their tires, and they died. They got in a car crash. But uh, there was this there was this one scientist and his wife, and they were like, "Oh shit, I know about Project." Actually, they were, they were part of of Project Biscuit. But what ended up happening was that they they knew that it was uh, <laughs> they knew uh, Limp Biscuit was gonna destroy the world, so they said, "Oh, we quit. We don't want to work on this project." And when Corn died, they came out and they went, "Oh no! They actually did it. They killed Corn." So what ended up happening? Fucking Tasmanian devil motherfucker. Uh, they revived them. They they cloned them all. And they brought them back to life. And they were like, we gotta get these guys back on the road. Because these guys, is Korn is the only, the only band that can defeat the true evil. Oh fuck, where are the other pieces? Korn is the only band that can truly defeat Limp Biscuit. But I don't think, I don't think just corn will be enough to, oh, where the fuck is the other piece? Corn will be the, enough to stop the biscuit. So we need, we need more bands to join our cause. And if you think I'm lying, check out the video called uh, Make Me Bad. That's when they cloned them. All right. I'm not lying. All right. Uh, fuck. How do I get over there? Whatever. Anyways. Uh, and then by by this time, oh man, it looked real bad. It lo it looked real bad for the world, man. Uh, Limp Biscuit was making millions and millions of dollars. People just wanted the Nuki. Oh shit. People just wanted the Nuki. They were obsessed with Limp Biscuit, and and the government was like laughing. They were like, "Haha, we we got these fucking kids, fucking kids." Um. Okay. Well, I got two pieces. Where's it? Why can't I just fucking leave? Ah! How, what what is going on here? Oh, I see. I need to jump down. What the? F what kind of f fuckery is that? Shithead. Anyways, uh, where was I in the story of corn and the biscuit? Oh yeah. So, it was the limp biscuit was getting out of control. They were on top of the world. And then uh, the 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 good doctor that cloned corn said th they took a call to uh, what's that band name? Limp uh, Lincoln Park. They, he called Lincoln Park and said, "Hey guys, we need y'all. Uh, we need y'all niggas help. Y'all feel me?" And uh, 
and Linkin Park said, uh, of course, what what's going on? And he said, the time to sweat. All right, this how gonna go, brother. <laughs> uh, Limp Biscuit is gonna try and uh, destroy the world at a at a Woodstock concert. He's gonna he's gonna the government is gonna scream in his ear the nuki and he. He, the whole world is gonna go on rampage, all right? We need you to stop this. And so, <laughs> and so, what happened was that the the, the the scientist said, "I need you to I need you to hide out for a moment. We need a strike at the at the right moment. So, if you guys don't mind, build this big ass statue and just." <laughs> And just wait for us. Just wait for us on top of the statue, okay? And if you think I'm lying about this, check out in the end. Those motherfuckers are standing on top of a big ass statue waiting waiting for it back up. <laughs> they're waiting. <laughs> they're waiting. I'm not lying, see? Did you look it up? Look it up. Where is this last piece? I don't know where the last piece is. Fuck it. Anyways, uh, they <laughs> uh, they were trying to get in contact with um, Audio Slave, but unfortunately, they were too late. Uh, by the time they they got in contact with them. Uh, they had broken up, and uh, Limp Biscuit influenced Chris Cornell, lead singer of Audio Slave, to go solo and do some rap shit. And uh, I'm not kidding, man. Go look up. Go look up Chris Cornell rap shit. Uh, <laughs> and um, unfortunately, the scientist failed, but not all the way. Why? Why do I say that? Because oh, this bald cancer fucker. Anyways, uh, where was I? There's the last piece. You fucking fucker. At least now I know where all these pieces are at now. Oh my god. Yeah, well they they broke up, and Woodstock was about to happen. But, uh, uh, oh fuck, there you go. But, uh, there was another powerful figure that nobody saw coming, and his name was Slim Shady, the white nigga. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying that. Um, he, he can't, he, right before the Woodstock concert um, Slim Shady told him in his ear hey man I think the, the government straight out playing you right now all right and it, and uh, Limp Bizkit was like like what you talking about and he said that's right man you're just an experiment to try and control the youth of today they want to the Illuminati is controlling you. They, they want, they want you to destroy everything so that they can come in. And yeah, dude. And Limbisky was like, Nah, I don't believe you. But Slim Shady was like, Yeah. And Limbisky was like, Nah. And Slim Shady was like, Yeah. And so, what ended up? <laughs> Oh fuck! I need to get over there. I keep forgetting how to get over there. Did I? Get, I don't. I, I don't think I got the piece. Of, oh shit! Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. Cool. Oh, I got battery. Oh shit! Did I already check up here? Oh, man. Toxic fucking bullshit there. Alright, uh, where was I? 
Oh yeah, Slim Shady was like, hey man, you just a, a government puppet, dog." And he was like, nah, I refuse to believe this. Right before he went on stage, and uh, Limp Bizkit was singing, and then uh, in his ear, the government screamed, the new key. And when that happened, all hell broke loose. Uh, uh, the, the government wrote a secret weapon song uh, just for that occasion, and it's called Break Shit. And he started singing that song right away at Woodstock. And Woodstock, damn, there was there were bodies everywhere, the mounds of the dead. He, it, it, it was terrible, guys. There were, oh my god, uh, Woodstock was canceled. The destruction was, oh my god, it was worse than Hurricane Katrina. It was, uh, it was pretty bad. Finally, I got all the fucking pieces, and we can move on to the next part. But, uh, <clears throat> that happened, but midway to singing, he kind of snapped out of it, and he went, wait a second, what's going on around me? Oh, no, and so he stopped, he stopped singing, and he just, he just started to run away, and, um, And now it he, he was like, nah man, I can't believe I was I was played like that. That's fucked up. Oh fuck! Oh! What the fuck was that? Oh fuck. Alright. And uh he's like, no way Jose, I'm gonna get back at these government motherfuckers. And then, um... Oh! Fucking frogs! Oh! You son of a bitch. And then Limp Bizkit, he went. Those... Those... Those government motherfuckers are gonna pay. He was looking at the ground when he said that. And then he slowly looked up into the camera. And then he went. This time, we're gonna do it. Cause they don't even give a shit about me or my generation. I know what y'all want. I know what y'all wanna. <laughs> Look, this really happened, and I'ma tell you the second part of the story soon. All right. Uh, but the, the you you honestly gotta believe me. All right. This really fucking happened. Um. Where are... Hold on, I'm trying to find the music for it. Fuck it, whatever. I don't know, I can't find the music. But what, what I will tell you is that Corn and Limp Bizkit actually teamed up one last time. But to rewrite what he had undone. But, oh shit. Hey guys, uh, I kind of have to go. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, shit. Uh, peace. And remember, order in chaos, and chaos in order. <laughs>